Hi, so this is actually super normal, and the reason is is because polycystic ovarian syndrome, despite the name, doesn't actually lead the ovary to have a higher likelihood of cysts. I know. Why would someone name something polycystic ovarian syndrome if it's not cysts on the ovary? Personally, I think that it should be called polyfollicular ovarian syndrome because that is actually what it is. So basically, all ovaries have follicles. Follicles contain eggs. And people with polycystic ovarian syndrome have lots of follicles, or they may have lots of follicles. That's one of the criteria, one being irregular or not getting a period, one being signs of hyperandrogenism, like hair growth on the face or in places that aren't typical for a person born with ovaries, um, acne, things like that. And the last being an ultrasound that shows polycystic ovaries, except again, not cysts, lots and lots of small follicles. So this is a normal ovary. You can see multiple follicles there. There's also one that's growing to ovulate. And this, on the other hand, is probably a polycystic ovary where there's lots of small follicles and they line around the rim. So while technically those follicles are cysts when thinking about the definition of the cyst, but they are not what most people think of when they think of ovarian cysts. And so I think that's where a lot of the confusion comes from.